on CNBC's Business Center. Could you make money by surfing the net? It's the newest internet craze, and millions are cashing in. But why would advertisers pay you to go online? Find out before you buy in. Tonight on CNBC's Business Center. Profit from it. You should have waved hi, Ramona. She was having a wave uh, to, to fix the uh, computer there, getting it ready. We may go to the president uh, any moment now, uh, addressing the Wall Street project in New York City. But in the meantime, let's talk uh, about Puma technology. It's a classic case of woulda, shoulda, coulda. I mean, last year at this time, shares of Puma technology were trading at less than $4 on a split-adjusted basis. But then, boom, especially in the fall of last year, Puma finished the year as the best-performing stock in the NASDAQ. Shares climbing more than 2,500% over the course of the last 12 months. Uh, here to talk about his company, there it is, and, and what it's doing today, as a matter of fact, up uh, two and nine sixteenths at 103 quarters. Uh, this company specializes in synchronized software technology for wireless devices. Here he is, co-founder and CEO Brad Rowe in San Jose. Nice to see you, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. You can smile now, but last year wasn't such, uh, the case, right? Yeah, last year was a, was a good year towards the end of the year, but um, uh, we got off to a rough start, and uh, a lot of the restructuring that we did in uh, 1998 actually started to take effect in the uh, second half of 1999, where we ended up with uh, really a fantastic year. You were only, at that time, only as good as the products that used your technology. If the product failed, you failed. What did you do to change that? Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, in 1998, uh, we got off onto qu uh, quite a number of different projects. Um, the initial success we'd had, say, with the Palm Computing Platform uh, back in 1996, led to a lot of companies wanting to license our technology. And what the company had to do is throw a lot of bodies, throw a lot of engineers at a variety of different projects. And um, what happened was over the course of the next two years, we engaged in probably about 15 different projects with uh, large companies in the cell phone area, handheld computing devices, right. pagers, and, and whatnot. And uh, what we found out two years later is that it was still really the Palm Pilot and Windows C were the dominant platforms. And uh, so we spent a lot of engineering talent and time off on uh, some new uh, products that just didn't pan out in the marketplace. So where's the greatest growth opportunity for Puma right now in synchronizing wireless devices? Well, um, what we see right now going on in the marketplace is, is a convergence of Internet access with mobile devices. Mm -hmm. And moving forward, uh, people want to be able to access critical information from wherever they are at any time using a variety of different devices. Uh, one, of the, one of the classes of device we happen to be uh, most bullish on are the cell phones. Uh, you have about a half a billion cell phones in usage today. Right. And people want to be able to access personal information, say, when they're on the road, contacts, calendars, uh, important appointment changes, and the like. And uh, Puma has some essential technologies to make that work properly. Here's a question from a viewer in Georgia. Mario wants to know, and I don't know the pricing that you have here, but he says, do you foresee a problem in the cost of the infrared services that your products provide for the average businessman? Any forecasts of when those prices will come down? Is it expensive? Uh, no, it's really not. In fact, um, over 300 corporations, major corporations in the United States have licensed and standardized on Puma's technology. And uh, for major corporations and business users, we give volume discounts, and we've uh, been very successful in that channel. That business is growing at a very steady clip for us. But that's for major corporations. Would, the, would smaller businesses, would it be cost effective for them yet? Well, we sell the products through consumer channels as well. I believe uh, you can buy uh, Puma IntelliSync products in a, uh, several thousand uh, retail channels across the U.S. And again, uh, I point out that business is growing uh, very rapidly. And uh, with the utility that you get from our products, uh, uh, most people find it well worth the price. Here's a question from Tony in Chicago. Do you see wireless connectivity of PCs and handheld devices to the Internet, to the Internet as dominating the market over cable and DSL in the future? Well, I, I actually, I see them in complement of one another. Um, we see a new uh, emerging uh, ubiquitous wireless mobile Internet access uh, marketplace um, uh, developing over the next couple of years. And in fact, uh, Puma spends a lot of time in Japan. Um, a number of major relationships we have in Japan with companies such as NTT Docomo, uh, JPhone, and several other major wireless carriers in Japan yeah. lead us to believe if you, if you go to the Japan, Japanese market, what you're going to see in the United States over the course of the next couple of years. There's already millions of active users, business users, consumers who are doing things from banking services to uh, uh, regular business usage. 
And uh, again, we, we believe while the U.S. may be uh, about two years behind Japan, uh, we see those same types of services coming on pretty rapidly in the U.S. as well. I'm out of time. Though. You're going to kill me, but I'm going to take this one anyway. A uh, question from Max. Puma has seen an increase in valuation this year in a space that's getting crowded with new players. How do you plan to compete with co companies that are a bit more flexible and give real-time updates to data streams? Well, actually, um, we're going to be able to uh, do just the, the very same things in terms of giving real-time notifications to mobile wireless users. Uh, when, when you're out and you're wireless and you're anywhere, I mean, who knows where you are? You could be in your car, you could be at the airport, and you're not tethered to, a, to a, say, a big 21-inch monitor with high-speed Internet access. Yeah. What's going to matter to that user is getting highly relevant, highly granular information. I mean, the information I've, I've, I've basically set up and said that I want delivered to me in a real-time fashion, and, right. and that's specifically what we do. Brad, good to see you. Continued success. Thanks. Thank you. Brad Rowe, President, CEO of Puma Technology, joining us today from San Jose. Take a quick break, come back. The editor of Interactive Week takes a look at which companies could be potential takeover targets this year after this.